Hello Squids, this is Squeevy here with another Java tutorial. Um, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a Fibonacci sequence in uh, the console. So, um, yeah. Uh, it's I know it's been a while since I've uh, uploaded a Unity tutorial, but I will do that. So, I'll talk about that after this video. But anyways, let's get started by um, making a public method. Or, I'm sorry, a main method. Uh, I'm very tired. Okay. Oh, I am using Eclipse, by the way. Uh, just kind of a different um, design, because I found the little thing, the little uh, plugin that allows you to redesign the Eclipse interface, and I like it. But anyway, let's let's get back to business. So, um, you want to create a, you want to create um two static public. Or, Two ints, two public static ints, and you're gonna call them a uh, pre preferably a, a and b, but it doesn't have to be a and b. And you're gonna set them both equal to one because the first two numbers in the Fibonacci sequence is one. So there, uh, and then just I guess write in the console. Fibonacci sequence. Okay. Oh, maybe, maybe actually add grammar. There we go. So, um, now we're going to want to create a for loop. Format it. No? Okay. No formatting. Um, and just basic for loop parameters, but just follow these parameters for the for loop. Because you're going to write out the Fibonacci sequence 20 times. So you're just, the for loop is going to complete its action recursively 20 times. I mean, you can do a forever loop, but that might slow down the computer and crash Eclipse. So, um, anyways, you want to create a new int sum, and you're going to set it equal to a plus b. And then you want to set a equal to b and b equal to sum. Okay, so the reason for setting a equal to b and b equal to sum is because um, you wanted to set a equal to the last number spoken. And the last number spoken in this case was um, b, which is 1. So so pretty much what you're going to do is, because Eclipse works from top to bottom, it's going to first add a plus b, and then it's going to set a equal to b, but not, not the total sum. It's just going to set it equal to... Um, the B, you get it. So it's gonna set A equal to one in the first. So this is the first run. So it's first. In the first run is gonna add A and B, set B equal to one, and then set B equal to two because one plus one is two. And then for the second run, it's just going to add one plus two, which is three. It's gonna set A equal to two because B is two because it's the sum of A plus B from the first run. So A is going to be equal to two in this case, and then B is now gonna eat going to be equal to 3. It's just going to do that over and over and over again. But also it's going to do over and over oh crap. Also it's going to do over and over and over again is print the sum. So what that would look like is hold on. There we go. Ah. I don't really want you seeing my projects because it's messy over there. Anyways, so what the program would look like is when I can find this space. Hold on. All right, so what it looks like when it runs is there. That's what it looks like when it runs. Um, it just prints Fibonacci sequence, and then, as promised, it recursively adds numbers. So, um, thank you all for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Mainly comment if you have questions, don't just leave anything random. And also, uh, someone made me an intro, and that person who made me an intro, I will use the intro. I just have to get a good video editor that doesn't decrease the quality of my video. Um, I'm not, I'm not gonna say the name, unless something happens. Anyway, so, um, there's a download link to this in, on my website if you go to my channel. You know, on the little top where it has links. 
it'll say download tutorial. Uh, I'll also put a link to it in the description. So, um, check out the channels of the other squids. They're nice enough. <laughs> no, they're, they're great. So check out their channels. Um, and yeah, Squeeva out. No, no, not Squeeva out. I was going to talk about the UD tutorials. Um, I'm getting way more into Java as in I'm doing more OpenGL and graphics with Java. So uh, I'm also getting into the web, the web languages because I'm going to remake my website to be cooler. Um, so I'll be doing HTML and web language tutorials when I learn stuff. So um, yeah, I'll be doing more Java, C++, and web languages, and a bit less game engines like Unity. So I will start, I will still make them, but not as much. But yeah, so now, squid out, squeeze out for real.